And Job said, you, are, you must be one of those foolish women. In chapter 13 of Job, um, verse 15, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Authentic faith is proved by undying dedication to God, not to things. To God. Three Hebrew boys were threatened with the fear of the furnace. And they said our God is able to deliver us and he will deliver us. But even if he does not, we would rather die than bow. And God delivered them because they believed, they trusted in their God. Daniel 3 verse 28. They trusted in their God. So, <laughs> all reserved dedication is one of the proofs of authentic faith. What it does and does not do does not affect you. God is not your business partner, it's your father. It's not your heavenly banker, it's your heavenly father. True dedication is a proof of authentic faith. True dedication is a proof of authentic faith. They said to Daniel, you see, you must pray to no, you shall not pray to any other God except to the king. <laughs> he said, you are touching my sensitive part. They say, otherwise, you will be cast to the den of lions. He said, I'm ready. And Daniel 6, 23, the Lord delivered him because he believed in his God. He believed in his God. It's not this bread and butter faith that people are carrying up and down now. Let God be true. That's faith. And all men liars. Doesn't matter what's happening. God is true. God is true. When you get to that point, you have committed God's integrity to moving. You have committed God's integrity to moving. All those dedicated fellows came out triumphant. All of them came out triumphant. And we're talking about enforcing the triumph of faith. They all came out. God tried Abraham with Isaac. And dedication prevailed. <laughs> and God brought his generations into his blessings through that act of dedication. He said he knew that God is able to raise up to he's able to raise him back from the dead. Dedication does not I mean, that is you just lose your mind. Hebrews chapter eleven, seventeen to nineteen. He said, God tried him, and he accounted of God as able to raise him back from the dead. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried of God, off to offer his son, Isaac. By faith, when he was tried, he offered his only son, and he had received promises, offered up his only son. Now, of whom it was said, that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Now, accounting that God was able to raise him even from the dead, from whence he also received him in a figure. It is not what he does that makes him God. What he does and does not do, notwithstanding, is still God. Amen. Faith 
people are not driven by things. They are driven by God. <laughs> Authentic faith people. People whose faith delivers. They are not driven by things. They are moved only by God. This charismatic new edition faith has brought so many into frustrations. You heard me say, God, whatever you cannot do, let it remain undone. Wherever you can't take me, may I never get there. I, I, I not bow my head to any bow <laughs> to the end of my journey on earth. Whatever you can't give me, may I never have it. And I tell you, I have many things. I was visiting one state many years ago, I think 1991, and then the governor of that state requested that we pray with him in his uh, place, and he happened to be a believer, so we called him after the service to pray for him, and after that he gave me an envelope, I said, I hope it's your money. I mean, faith people are not hunting for things. They are crazed for God, has blinded their eyes to what moves others. He said, oh, my honor, sir, it's my money. I said, okay, because I don't have right to state money. I'm not a state staff. And I'm well paid by the one who employed me. Amen. I'm well paid. <laughs> Glory to God. If you are down today and you are up tomorrow, your faith needs treatment. <laughs> that is faith sickness. It needs attention. Faith people are always high up because their root is in God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So until you are the same, under all circumstances, faith is fake. There was a time my wife had an attack on her health and just like God, my father, the same yesterday, today, and forever. I was ministering to you at the same frequency. Hot, fresh, sit and up till 3 a.m. in the morning, cooking the food for Sunday morning, trying to put icing on the, on the cake, and then just lose my mind. He said, he shall not be moved. You read that in Psalm 46. He shall not be moved. The righteous shall be established forever. He shall not be moved. Dedication. Dedication will always empower your faith for triumph. You know, I said to God in those days, I said, Lord, that to heal my wife is not what makes you God. Whether you heal her or not, you are still God. Ah, he said, that's true. I better heal her. <laughs> Glory to God. And I, I wasn't faking it. I wasn't trying to cajole God. You know, God knows your thoughts. Uh -huh. I was, you can cajole me. I mean, because I don't know your mind. <laughs> you know, many people say, you are my father and the Lord. is a lie. <laughs> but I don't know, so I have to accept. <laughs> it's a lie. Glory to God. But since I don't know now, I just accept. <laughs> but if it is God, before you plan to say it, three weeks before, one year he knows that at so so time you will lie. <laughs> and say, God, I trust you. Is it? And I know because you went to Abalis last night. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. May you receive grace for true dedication today. Yeah. You vie for one contract and you didn't get it. And then for that reason, 